Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Michelle, and I'm back with another reading. Please keep in mind that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles can be the resume between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Before anything, I want to thank everybody who has liked and subscribed to my videos and subscribe to my channel i must say i do appreciate every single one of you and thank you so much for the support because this is a growing channel and i appreciate everything so yeah i want to say thank you for that with that said let's take a look at what the universe has for you sorry for the noise i just got the window open because it's pretty hot here in wisconsin today or i feel really warm i don't know so we got you don't know this but i'm hiding my money problems because i don't want you to petty me hmm okay what else what else spirit thank you spirit we got unexpected reunion i like that then i stalk your social media looking for info are you single yet and then we got fix my glasses i'm so tired of pretending everything is okay thank you spirit then we got the right person at the wrong time Oh, that sucks. Then we got, you won't want me like this, or you don't want me like this. However, it resonates better for you. It's not easy to admit it's game over. And last one, please. Okay. A cheater will be always a cheater. Then we got, I'm jealous of every person who gets this to, okay. <laughs> I'm jealous of every person who gets to spend time with you. I am so far away. Then, don't be afraid of the storm and find shelter. So pretty much when I wrote that, it means that to be prepared. Because some things intense in my, oh my, oh my God. My boyfriend just walked by and I got scared. Can you believe that? Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So, well, as I was saying, when it says don't be afraid of the storm and find shelter, it's pretty much saying to... Be prepared because something is, is about to go down. Then we got at the bottom of the deck. I can't accept you don't want me back. And then it says, why can't I forget you? And we go, I know I'm far away, but I'll come back to you. So you could be dealing with a person that's far away, like a long-term relationship. I keep saying long-term relationship. Long-distance relationship. That's what I mean to say. So maybe you're dealing in, and you're in that situation, like, a long distance relationship here because i still i well, you know we we heard it over and over about distance about missing you about not being able to be near you or be where you are so this person is really feeling the distance like it's like damn i'm so far away from libra i would like to be there but i can't like they're feeling the distance is hitting them pretty hard then see so spirit can you give me the energy from this person for libra what is this person's energies thank you spirit so we got the journey right here then we got angels of strength this could be a leo that you're dealing with and then we got financial constraints right here so i feel like your person like i said is dealing with a lot of financial issues here they're like working really hard and the money issues is making them feel subconscious about coming forward toward or coming towards you or um, if you have little communication with this person, uh, they're not telling you everything. They're not telling you that they're having they're having some money issues because they feel really self conscious about it, and they don't want you, like you said before, to, that you petty them. You know, they are really proud. You know, so this one of the things and then we got victory right here so this person is actually having as i said before a lot of issues with their money they actually are struggling to find victory to find success and that's one of the things that makes them feel bad it makes them feel self-conscious it makes them feel a little bit should like doubtful if they should um reach out to you or not you know so um Spirit, what can you give me for Libra about the situation? What else can you give me for Libra about the situation? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Justice card right here. This is you. The Eight of Cups right here. I like to relate cups with emotions and water. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, a water sign that you're dealing with. We got the Empress in reverse. This could be Libra as well. Or 
an air sign such as Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius right here. I mean Gemini. I don't know why I said Aquarius. Did I even say that? I don't know what I said, to be honest. So anyways, with the Justice card and the Eight of Cups right here. So this person walked away from you. Okay? And it's hurting them really badly. Okay? I see distance here. Like, the, the cards kept talking over and over. But they still have feelings for you. It's like they're trying to ignore it because they are uh, far away from you. And they feel, if you are within a relationship right now, they feel like they can't do anything about it. So they're trying to ignore you, ignore how they feel. Because it's like, in a way, they are in love with you, you know? And you cannot just like shut down the feelings, you know? The only thing that this person is able to do is to ignore it the best way they can. With the Empress and Vivers, um, this person uh, sees you as somebody really beautiful, unique, and perhaps they were thinking of um, being in a higher levels of commitment with you at one point. And um, again, they can't do that right now because you are with somebody else. For some reason, this person could also believe that you are pregnant, like that you're expecting a child with somebody else. I'm not saying that you look like a little bit bigger. I'm saying that they might feel like you are in such connection with somebody else that you might think of having kids with this person you know with a tool of sorts right here it's like they they actually try to not think about it but they think about you having sex with somebody else and that hurts them a lot and that makes them mad and that again hurts them a lot and it's like their own thoughts and their own ideas of you having sex or being intimate with somebody else hurts them so much because they had so much love for you and like I said before, it was the right person, but it was at the wrong time. And it still is the wrong time. With the King of Pentacles right here, um, they feel that somebody else has you and that they're so much better than them. And it's like, like I said before, this person has a really poor perspective of themselves. So they go like, no, this person is way better than me. Why would they pick me? Why would they choose me over this other person that they have? And... Again, they are trying really hard in their money because they feel that if they have money, they have power, and maybe that way you will like them better than the person that you're with. And I always said that Libras, they, they don't like or they don't need that kind of like money or so because um, we, we as Libra, I'm a Libra as well, we make our things happen, you know, but your person is like... And I don't know, it's like something that they actually put in their head, you know? Sometimes we do things, like, if you're dealing with a Pisces, they're emotional sometimes, and they're dramatic sometimes. But, again, this person is, like, believing that what if I have an um, amazing comeback? Because this person wants to come back around, but they want to bounce back, like, having more, oh, my God, more money or having, um having a, a status you know like oh i am let's say a manager or something like that you know so what is this person's next um moves um towards libra ten of ones okay you're gonna like this libra so this person is gonna come back they're gonna move back exactly where you are or close to where you are because this person that that recently moved but let's see with a strength card right here okay they kind of come back around i have people who say like oh my person is not in town like then this is not your reading if this if none of this resonates with you it means that it's not for you simple and um with the ten of ones and the nine of cups like i said before this person is coming back into i would like to say town or whatever it is that you live they're gonna come back okay they're gonna come back because i feel like it was it because of work because of work and i feel that like they got a position that they wanted a position that they needed and they're coming back around because of that with the nine of cups right here it's like they can't wait to see you they can't wait to tell you um it's like they are excited because they know or they feel like you still care for them um maybe you have them on social media or Something is giving them this hint of, like, they, they still care about me. Libra still wants me, in a way, you know? And, again, they're coming back in. Um, they're, they cannot wait to tell you. They cannot wait to see you. 
um, with a strength card right here. They have the, this is a Leo energy as well. Um, they're going to present themselves as really secure, really like, oh, look at this, cocky maybe. But they are really insecure. They're really doubtful. They are scared, um, scared and afraid of you because deep down, this person is really sweet. This Deep down, this person is really sweet. It's just like you don't know this because they never give you the chance to, you know. And like I said before, that happens on when we meet, when we reunite with our soulmates or our special person on the wrong time. With a tower right here. Look at this Scorpio energy right here. Okay, this person's come back, honey, is going to bring a lot of fire to your life because I said it before and I'll say it again. You are taken. And this person's coming back in and you're going to be like, fuck like what am i doing now you know but this person wants to come back this person i'm gonna say just like this this person wants to break up wants you to break up with whoever you're with they're gonna try to make you break up because they want you for them because they know you love them back as well you know it was just a mess before it was just the wrong time and all that so honey whoever this person is they're coming in back because they changed they changed um whatever happened in their life uh it like, it hit them so hard that, in a way, they got them a little bit more humbled. Because this person had a little bit of ego and pride, even though that, in I don't know why, but they did had it. And they feel more humbled as well. Um, as as well as they want to break you up. Or make you break up. Maybe break you up in bed. <laughs> but if not, they want you to break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend. That's one of their intentions. They're, like, coming back with a... With a um, mindset of like let's break them up like like get libra back libra is mine you know look at this the six of pentacles right here they're also gonna try really really fucking hard let me tell you that to see you in person they're gonna try really really hard to see you in person so you get used to getting text messages or calls of hey let's see let's see each other i want to see you want to see you let's hang out let's hang out they want to see you honey this is also sex pentacles because it's physical something that you can touch besides money um and they want you they want you and they want to have sex with you tons of times tons of times so girl boy get ready because it's gonna be lit here it's like this time they're not gonna just um want to talk to you only it's like i got this vibe of like i lost libra once i'm not gonna lose it twice you know also, besides the point, whoever is working really freaking hard, you're going to actually get um, a, a big ass um, opportunity that is actually shocking. It comes out of nowhere. You're going to have a lot of money coming your way. And I feel it's a lot of money, Libra. It's not thousands of money of, of dollars. It's a lot of money. Um, if you're working on a project, if you're working really hard, honey, prepare yourself. If you're starting your own business or thinking about starting your own business, don't hesitate because it's going to work out for you. Look at this, the nine of ones in reverse. This person is done watching you and not doing shit. This person is done by not doing anything. They're tired. So expect them to come back in and not only watch you from afar. They want to talk to you. They're going to actually make it happen. Look at this, queen of cups right here. And you're going to be like, oh my God, please leave me alone. Like, I can't do this. But look at this. This person is connected to you. This person is connected to you. You guys are really connected. Spiritu um, talking about spirituality here, you are really connected with this person. So be expecting this person to do a lot more than just talking. Look at this. The King of Wands right here. Leo Sagittarius energy. This person is on a hunt. This person is fierce. This person wants you back. And they want you so bad. And I see a lot of sex. A lot of like sexual desire. But also I see a lot of intention of wanting you back. Because they want to start something or to see where this goes. I don't see this only being sex. This is more about of course sex. Because duh. But also wanting to have a relationship with you. With the 
Hangman in reverse. This person was confused before. This person was not clear with you before. This person did play games with you before. And we are aware of that. And they are aware of that too. But this time is different. This person has, like I said before, and this is actually underneath the tower card right here. This person has gone through enough and they changed that. And they don't want to play with you. They don't want to play games with you. If you tend to play with them as well when it comes to texting, they want actions. If they say they want to see you, they're going to make that happen justice right here look at this libra it's you and it's only you they want look at this underneath the six of pentacles like i told you before wanting to be with you it's only you it's only you and uh, i'm just gonna tell you something and it's gonna be so random this person likes you with lighter hair this person likes your brownish hair and if you dye your hair recently to like auburn or a reddish brown or a brownish they're gonna go nuts and insane with that color because they love it they feel that looks so good on you so and they also like your the way that you do your makeup they find it so sexy i know this is gonna be random this is for some people but um and makeup is for everybody for every gender here so don't be thinking i'm just talking about one gender specific here here is is don't matter gender fluid okay so here um the way that you do your makeup they find it sexy especially the eye area for some of you, you do the uh, cat eye a lot, and they like that too. They go like, mmm, that's sexy. But just, this is just a random thing that they like about you. They like a lot of things, but they like that as well. So what is the uh, possible outcome in between Libra and this person's spirit? What is the possible outcome? Okay, we got justice. Libra, your card. Oh my god, okay, look at this. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Two of Pentacles right here. Queen of Pentacles. So I got two different messages. One is going to be love related and the other one is going to be career or financially related, right? I'm going to start with the career and financial related. So Libra, you have been working so fucking hard for your balance and your stability. And if you are going through this also, um, the sides besides the point sometimes i'm like this random that's what i get i'm getting the messages and i'm like, like throwing them like that away so anywho um yeah if you're going through legal issues or you are going through something that's legal related that you're waiting to get some sort of money or you're waiting waiting to win something when it's like legally related if it's legally related you're gonna have your uh your your victory your success also if you're been working a lot in your finances career so on and so on you're gonna be recognized really really soon you're gonna be really famous that's what i'm getting you're gonna be really famous and recognized around very very much and you're gonna have your success and you're gonna have like i said before about the money you're gonna have a lot of money with the ace of cups the universe is just telling you to uh keep yourself humble to to get to receive that gift with love and care to not lose yourself in the fame or in the money because they gave it to you because of your heart your ancestors want you to know that you have an amazing heart and they love you for that and that's why they're gonna give you what you have been working on so hard and asking for so hard and they want you to know to do not stop to not look back and to not do not feel bad because of your success because you earned it okay it's not like you sit down and be like i want to be rich and that happened overnight you work for your shit so do not feel bad do not let other people feel bad and also surround yourself with good people positive people people who love you for you and not for what you can do for them okay that is just a random message that i just got and this is an angel that is motherly like um fatherly like they want to protect you they love you anywho uh with the, i'll continue with the finances right here with the 401s you're gonna have success you're gonna have your home if you're uh wanting to get a house you get a, a place a new car you're gonna be able to afford that and you're gonna be able to pay that shit on full honey no loans no mortgage on full because you're gonna have the money or the income with the chair right here i feel like some of you are gonna get a car and um and that's what you want it honey you're gonna be able to get it from like a 2020 car 2021 car you know what i'm saying if you wanted to I'm not saying that you need to but i'm just t giving you a hint of how successful i see you being um and when the two of pentacles right here it's gonna be overwhelming honey because you will have to still to keep on working and it's not gonna be easy to 
to embrace that uh, success. It's going to be harsh, you know? It's going to be a little bit, oh my goodness. But look at this. Queen of Pentacles here. A bad bitch. You, have you heard this song that says, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss? And then, 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 that is the song that I just heard when I took this card. And again, this is not for everybody. I wish all of the Libras are successful. And I feel whatever it is that you do, even if it's being famous or whatever it is that you do career-wise, you're going to be successful because you're capable of. But this is for whoever is doing something on the public eye. And hmm, I'm a Libra, so I could take this message any day. Boop. Anyway. Now I'm going to go with the love message because I know everybody's here for love and we get that. We get that. I'm sorry. So with the justice here and the six of wands here, there's going to be a, an amazing comeback from this person. This person's coming back for you. You've been wanting this person to come back for a long time. And you thought you were over this person, honey boo, but you're not. You're not. When you see this person back again, you're going to be so excited. You're going to be like, there you go. Hi. Like that is that kind of like, you're going to be really excited though. And they're going to be really excited to see you too. And I feel like this encounter, you guys are really feisty, both of you, when you guys text. When you guys see each other in person, it's going to be, like, really awkward. Because you guys like each other so freaking much that you don't know how to act. And it's funny. It is so fucking funny. And with Ace of Pentacles, I mean, Ace of Cups right here, there's a lot of love here. And this is a gift that the universe has given you because you guys are meant to be together. You guys were separated for a long fucking time. And you guys deserve happiness and being together with one another. And let me tell you something. You guys are going to be so good together. And you guys might even have a kid together, honey boo. So if you don't want kids, uh, take, you know, do your thing. But regardless of that, you guys have a potential to have a family. And being together, honey boo. Look at this, four of wands, happiness, marriage, higher levels of commitment, engagement. Look at that. Isn't that, that awesome? You're going to have your happiness. And it's going to become a celebration because you both know how hard it has been to get to this level. So this is not love that it's like, oh, I met him and we got married within seconds. No, you guys were separated. You guys went through hell and back to be together. Not only on this lifetime, but in the past one. And you guys, whenever you guys get together, if you want to celebrate that, if you want to make a party, if you want to make a big-ass wedding, you do that because you know what? You deserve that. You deserve that. And look at this chariot right here. Moving forward, coming towards you. This person is actually making the effort. You guys are like the yin yang right here. Different but alike. You both are the light and darkness because everybody's light. Everybody has light and dark. You have to be able to balance them both. And I'm telling you right here, there's a lot of moving forward. This person's gonna make the effort. This person got a new car or got a car, and if before the 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 transportation was a little bit difficult or maybe a little bit odd. It's not going to be no more because this person got a car. So this person is coming towards you. This person is putting the effort. This person is actually asking you out to pick you up, to go to a restaurant, to pick you up, to see you, like stuff like that. They want to, They want you to see that they are capable to provide. And with the two of pentacles right here, again, I still see me being you, you being overwhelmed because you have a relationship with. So you have to decide which one you want, which one you're going to took, or which one you're going to take, which person is the one you're going to keep, okay? Okay, so you have to make your decision. It's only you and only you only, okay, who is the one who's going to make the decision. Because I see you being connected and in love with two people. And I know people go like, oh, you cannot be in love with two people. Honey, they, when you don't know where who to leave is because you have feelings for, okay. And I heard that once. I heard once that you can be in love with two people, but you are never going to be in love with them on the same level. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't agree with that, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what I feel. I feel like you have good, like, enough emotions for both of them. But some of them, were, were, okay, but one of them is the one you love the most because it's the one that you have the connection. The other one does not feel as, you don't feel as connected as you would like to be. And you know this, okay? You know this very damn well. I'm sweating. Oh, my God. Ooh, I'm feeling the freaking fire. You know what I'm saying? And look at this. You are a queen. And you are the one who makes the choice. You are the, the one that takes the shots here. And look at here. You know who is your soulmate and you know who isn't. You know who is the one that's your soulmate. Again, you know who isn't. So you got to make your decision. You got to take that choice. 
Who is it, Libra? Who is it? You got to make that choice whenever the time comes. And whoo, I'm sweating. Nobody makes me this like, whoo, like Libra does. And like I told people, you can claim whatever you want of this reading. Not all of it, if it doesn't resonate, you know? And claiming readings are never, have never been mandatory. So, I'm just saying it to be, to say something. So what is the messages or the message for Libra from the angels? Let's see what your angels have to say. Trust. Within, within the next few months, within the next few months. Thank you, Spirit. Look at this. Yes. Oh my god look be assertive look for a sign success improving health so that is the messages for you like i said before and i told everybody these are straightforward messages there's nothing there's no meaning behind it oh look they told me to take these two cards look at this ask your angels and compromise so that is the message an extra message for you so i'm gonna take another card Another deck, I should say it like that. And let's see what other messages can we give you, Libra. What messages for you? Oh, thank you. Okay. Look at this. We got three cards. We got here. Hello from heaven. It says, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of the worries and feel their loving blessings. Then we got outdoors. Go outside. Go, some, go get some fresh air. And connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. And then be loved ones. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Look at that. I told you. I told you. Don't you love this when uh, when I'm right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And then the last one, we got passion here. It says, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. And at the bottom of the deck, we got that i just don't know how to pronounce it and i'm not gonna try and it says notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance here so again you're protected you've been sending signals and if you haven't you're gonna be getting a lot of signals from the from the universe so uh towards the end of the reading you guys know that i usually send or give you guys a number this number is given to you by your angels or ancestors pretty much extra guidance maybe related to this reading maybe not Maybe it's just something else that you need uh, guidance in. But anyways, your number will be 96. What you need to do is go online. You can go to a book and find the spiritual meaning of this number if you desire. Or you can go with angel number such, okay? So remember, Libra, 96 is your number. And before I go, I want to give you a prayer. This is for whoever believes in prayers and likes them. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just stop the video. Let it go. It's for whoever, this is for whoever wants a prayer and feels it can work for them. Okay. I want to do my best because these cards are gigantic. Thank you, Spirit. So we got two. Okay. Okay. We got here. It's called Today's Prayer. And it says, God did not give us a spirit of timidity <laughs> but a spirit, a spirit of power of love of self-discipline I'm gonna try it again God did not give us a spirit of t t timidity there you go but a spirit of power of love and of self-discipline to Timothy Timothy 1 7 uh, that's the best I can do because I cannot read this freaking handwriting. Love the cards, but holy macamole. I can't read them. So it says right here. He will never leave you nor forsaken you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Okay, this one I could I could read that one. I don't know if it was a T or a B or something. Okay, anyways, this is the end of the reading. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back next week with more readings. Bye.